woman accused of torturing and murdering her adopted daughter in a case that rocks South Florida has agreed to a plea deal to avoid capital punishment. Carmen Barahona will testify against her husband. Our senior political reporter Michael Pony live now with the details for us tonight. Michael. Calvin, justice has been a long time coming for Nubia and Victor Barahona, nine years and counting, but it got a bit closer today when their adoptive mother, Carmen Barahona, pleaded guilty to murder and agreed to testify against her husband. It can't get any worse than this. 69-year-old Carmen Barahona, looking like a harmless old lady, appeared before a Miami-Dade judge today and entered a plea of guilty to first-degree murder in the horrendous killing of her adopted 10-year-old daughter, Nubia. Today, Carmen Barahona accepted responsibility for the atrocities that she inflicted on two innocent children placed in her care and eventually adopted by her and her husband and co-defendant, Jorge Barahona. The state attorney says 52-year-old Jorge Barahona was mostly responsible for torturing, beating, and starving 10-year-old Nubia and her twin brother, Victor, who barely survived. You expect her to testify against her husband when he goes to trial in April? We absolutely do. That's the contract that we have with her. We expect her, not only does she have to testify, she has to cooperate and she has to testify truthfully in the case against her co-defendant, her husband, the real killer. Officials at Nubia School and family members warned DCF something was terribly wrong at the Barahona home, but they did nothing. That to have come to this point in nine years, to now have the mother, the adopted mother, pleading guilty to life and agreeing to fully and truthfully testify against the real killer, that's really a wonderful step forward for justice. Jorge Barahona is set to go on trial in this courthouse in April. He is pleaded not guilty. If he's convicted, he faces the death penalty. We're live at the Richard Gerstein Metro Justice Building in Miami. Michael Putney, Local 10 News.